Hello again, I'm your host Ted, and welcome to Peter's Marine Service. Today I'm going to show you another new addition of the Sea Ray Sport Cruiser lineup. This is the 2009 Sea Ray 250 Sundancer. This 25 foot boat feels like a much larger boat because of the good utilization of space inside, which I'll get to show you here in just a moment. Uh, what's nice about this boat is it's still small enough that you can still trailer from place to place and enjoy different areas of boating but big enough that you feel like you have some boat underneath you in the rougher water, but also some space so you can take along friends and family and really enjoy your time out. Again, what's nice about this boat is the amount of room that you have inside the cockpit. Notice we have the swivel helm seat that faces aft into the cockpit in this L-shaped seating around here. Gives you loads of room for, for entertaining. I mean, here two people can easily sit here, plenty of room four, five, six people could easily be very comfortable in the cockpit of this boat and you don't feel like you're on top of each other. That's a nice thing about it. Another nice thing is this arch that we have here too. The arch, it's a fiberglass forward facing arch, the look of a much larger boat. So when you're out on the water, this boat doesn't look like a small boat. It looks like a much larger boat because of its depth, the arch, well, and the, the configuration in general. Inside the cockpit here, what we have is a nice wet bar with sink. Plenty of room in here if you're preparing foods. Say you had a grill that went off the side of the boat, you can easily prepare foods and have a great time out on the water. Loads of storage down inside here with trash receptacle. Toward the back of the boat here, again, as with most sea rays, large swim platform. What's really nice about this is if you are, well, if you're anchored in a cove somewhere and you're swimming, good staging area for, for swimming or for doing water sports. There is a ski tow eye down here, so this boat is still big enough, or small enough for that matter, that you can pull skis, tubes, things like that. Really enjoy yourself out on the water. But the platform too, if you're tied up at a dock, you've got your dock here, very easy to step onto the boat and into the boat. Transom locker back here. Nice big door, stays open by itself. Plenty of room in here to put maybe different things that you want to take along, cleaning supplies and whatnot. But there's also some hangers in here to hang extra dock lines. Well, maybe that ski line that you have here too. Keep all that back here as well. Also have all your shore power hookups and city water hookup there too. Notice all the stainless steel latches and hardware all throughout the boat. Even some nice cup holders back here. Because let's face it, in a boat like this, you could be spending lots of time anchored, hanging out the back of the boat. Now you have some cup holders here as well. Nice big walkway into the boat. This boat features a nice transom door that's quite tall. So if you have youngsters that are on board, it's very easy to keep them inside the cockpit of the boat. And that stays open like that. Say you took the boat on a dinner cruise or you took it to another location and you're going to tie up along the side of the boat dock here. What's nice about this boat is it features a nice step up and over the side of the boat for stepping down onto the dock. It has a textured surface too, so you're always insured some uh, good footing on board. Mentioned a little bit about the cockpit interior. This gives you a little bit idea about the kind of space that we have here all around. Uh, plenty of room for, for sitting inside here. Another nice feature here is this. If you wanted to catch some rays, plenty of room. You can re relax here inside this boat. Very comfortable here. Or if you're if you're taking a cruise, you're pulling skiers. It's a nice nice position to be in as the observer as well. And that drops right down inside here. Underneath here, in this clever compartment here, cooler, onboard cooler. So you can easily take this in and out of the boat as well. That stows nicely down inside there. We spoke about the helm earlier. Uh, this, it faces back into the cockpit to give you a lot more room. Or, with the touch of a couple of levers here, spin the whole thing that way. Now we have our double helm seat. Loads of room up inside here. Uh, again, you can see the addition here of the new dashboards as I showed you in the 270 Sundancer as well. The 250 has the same configuration. Beautiful dashboard. Plenty of room for mounting some electronics if you decided to go that route. Here you have your remote control for your stereo. All your gauges right here, easy to see. And as with the other Sea Ray cruisers, nice tall windshield all the way around. So it's got good visibility out over the deck and glass all around too, so in clement weather you can see quite clearly. Tilt steering wheel makes it comfortable for anybody to operate the boat. But even more so, plenty of room to stand. And 
behind the steering wheel and in front of the seat. So if you're docking the boat, you can easily move around and see uh, all clearly all around the, the boat for docking. Nice feature. Plus there's cup holders all around also. This year, uh, they went to the, a new styling. Instead of having the companionway down the center of the boat, the companionway was moved to the port side of the boat. Uh, this is going to open up the whole cabin inside the boat, which I'll show you shortly. But what's nice here also is, just like in the 270, you have nice steps to go up onto the deck. So if you had to go up to the deck to retrieve the anchor or, or for docking or whatever you needed to do, nice steps to do that and very big as well. So it's very easy to step up and through the boat and then back down. Very safe as well in that, that configuration. To go into the cabin here, we have a nice feature here. This ca cabin door flips up, stays up by itself with a gas shock, and this door opens up, which gives us a very big entryway down into the cabin. So follow me, and we'll go take a look inside. A couple of nice things that I'll point out right away when you step down in here is the wood finish, wood flooring inside here also. Very rich looking when you get in here. First thing I thought of when I saw the wood flooring in here is how easy it would be to keep things clean as opposed to having carpet that would need to be vacuumed. This would be very easy to wipe out. So it makes it nice and rich, but it's also practical also. First thing you want to notice here inside the cabin is it's huge. Lots of room inside here. I'm sitting all the way up in the front. I got, I got headroom. Now, I'm not the tallest guy here, but you can get the idea. You wouldn't necessarily need to sit this far up. There's plenty of headroom inside this boat. Plenty of depth. Everything's been moved to the sides all the way around, so it opens up this whole V-berth area inside here. What you see here is, this is a nice place to maybe put some things, maybe a cup or whatnot. This is wood here, but you can also flip this over. Filler cushions will fill this whole thing in. This is a tremendously huge V-berth in here. Give you an idea, some, some space. You got plenty of room here. And then once the filler cushions are filled in, two people can be very comfortably sleeping here for the night. Lots of room. All open underneath here, so it's very easy to stow your, hey, your, probably gear bags and things like that. Those are the kind of things you'd probably be bringing along on a boat like this, whether the boat was your destination, if it sat in the water, or you were trailering it. Let's face it, we're taking all our stuff in bags, very easy to put them underneath here and to access everything. Notice how big this all is here. You don't have to flip up cushions and whatnot to get to anything. Also inside this storage compartment up in the front, your table is located in here, and that's wood. Uh, inside this cabin also, what you have is you have a nice hanging facility right here where you can hang things down inside here so everything can stay nice and neat if you were hanging and whatnot. And additionally, up on the top here you have your hatch with screen for bugs and shade for sleeping in in the morning. But also this, this has so much uh, uh, of an open feel probably because of the extra light that we get from these, these pieces right here. You have plexiglass here with some light to let more, more shine in. Plenty of room up on the top here to put some other things as well. Inside the head area here, very large. Everything all finished fiberglass all inside here. Hot and cold water for the sink, and that is a shower facility as well. Nice and bright because of the large port light window. It is frosted for privacy, uh, but that can open for ventilation also. And this boat's equipped with the porta potty. Well, it is a it's a porta potty setup, but that is a pump out.